Welcome to Whispers and Ink. Oh my gosh, you guys, want to sneeze. Welcome to Whispers and Ink, you guys. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire, you guys. I'm not only here to inspire you, but I'm here to give you permission to try something new. Why? Because I know you can do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm super excited. It's been a little bit since we've done a 3D project. And this is something, you guys, that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I had a trouble finding a video on YouTube. Who knew? I didn't find one still. I putzed around, and you guys, when I'm trying to figure something out, I use copy paper because it's cheap. <laughs> um, I use, a lot of times, I use old designer series paper because it's old. Um, but a lot of times, um, I can figure out measurements not too difficultly. I'm pretty good like that. Um, so if there's something that you want to learn how to do, then shoot me a picture here at this email, you guys, and then maybe we can figure it out together. Oh, couple of quick reminders, you guys. I am, the designer series paper sale is going to be ending in a couple of days. The join special is going to be ending in a couple of days. Uh, my class to go each month is going to end in a couple of days, and it's red, white, and blue themed, you guys. I'm super excited about it. Um, oh, yeah, that was a little high-pitched, wasn't it? Anyways, I hope that you're having an amazing day today, you guys. I'm excited. You guys ready to see what we're going to do today? First off, I am going to be using again, you guys, because it's perfect for summer, the sweet citrus. It was technically a bundle. Now it's separate pieces, but we're using the um, hybrid embossing folder. We're going to use a stamp set. And you guys, I only have one piece of paper here. This piece is lemon lime twist, you guys. And I have lemon lime twist ink and granny apple ink. And I also have that crazy two inch circle punch. And then, you guys, look at this cup. So this is the cup we're gonna be making today. This one is made in Lemon Lally. And then I also made a smaller one, kind of a coffee-ish cup. Would that be like a cappuccino cup? I don't know. So let me know if you want to learn how to make this smaller version, you guys. Tell me in the comment section. But this is going to be the cup that we're going to make today. And you guys, there's going to be a lot of variations that you can make. I mean, like a lot, a lot. Okay. Now this cup, this is an eight by eight piece of cardstock. The actual final product cup, whoops, measurements are five and a half. Five and a half inches tall. That's, you guys, that's a lot of candy. I love doing candy, you guys. Okay, don't judge. I think these are Christmas colors. But, that's like a quarter of a bag of candy, you guys. That's a lot of candy in there. My thought was, is wouldn't it be fun to put like lemon heads in here? Or you could get um, a lemon lime candy or something like that to go along with your sweet citrus. Um, sweet citrus stamp set. But... Think of this as, as an adult lemonade. What would you want to put in your adult lemonade cup, you guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get started. 
So we have our eight by eight. I'm gonna put my ruler away because you guys know space is limited here. Okay, so we have our eight by eight piece of lemon lime twist. And you guys, I have the score, so don't sweat. But first, I want to use this sweet citrus stamp set because I want to stamp and make like a designer series paper piece on this. So I have my insides and I have my rinds, okay? And we're going to just do an all over stamp on this. So I need my scratch paper. And you guys, I'm gonna use the dirty side. So I have Granny Apple Green, and you guys, I just inked this just a little bit ago. Look at it, it's even still puddling. Apparently I put a little, I got a little excited. So I'm gonna use the Granny Apple Green to stamp my rinds because I want a little bit darker rind than, ooh. Ooh, that's going to be actually, that's going to be cool. Okay. I just want to double check. Make sure we weren't going to need to make some modifications. So I want to do just some general stamping on this. Do, do, do. I hope everybody's having an amazing day so far today. Um, and I'm just going to work from one end to the other, spinning my paper around, spinning my stamp around, just so we can get things in different locations. Everyone, because you guys, you can see my line here. Oh, actually, that's getting pretty good. Okay. Okay. My lime is a, a little crazy. And then we're going to fill it in with the other parts. And I wanted to do this because, 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 who doesn't love a fun cup for summer? I had some fun summer cups, you guys, and to me... Mine are decorated, and I should have grabbed one, and I didn't think about it, but I should have. Um, fun plastic decorated cups. Tell me what you guys have for cups for summer use. Do you have any fun decorated cups? Oh, gosh, you guys, I am loving how this is turning out. So cool. The addition of the stamping, you guys, was a last minute thought. Now, you don't have to do this all over stamping. You could do an ombre effect on this. That would be cool, too. Um, let's see, put that to the side. I'm going to need that again in a minute. We're going to bring in our lemon lime twist, and that's going to do our inside pieces. Let that sit in here. <laughs> okay, what did I do here? All right, this is, oh, I see what I did. Oh my gosh, way too complicated, right, you guys? I should have done one at a time. <laughs> I hope you're laughing at me because I'm laughing at myself. Goodness gracious. But look at how cute that looks. Isn't that cute? Oh, I am loving this. So fun. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, as far as the lineups. But, and see, look at that. All right, that's okay. We'll make that the back piece. <laughs> to make sure to cover 
Make sure you get ink on all of your spots. And all I'm doing is filling in all of my citrus pieces. So tell me, do you have this stamp set? I know that some do. You guys, that thunder noise is one of the kittens climbing my screen in the craft room. Because I have the window open. Got a little toasty in here earlier. All those little kittens run all over the place. I think we're just going to do that like that. Okay. So there's our lemon lines. Now we're going to take this piece and you guys, we're going to score it. Now, don't sweat. It's a lot easier than you think, but you got to figure out which direction you want it to go. Huh? Because it's eight by eight, it can go any way you want. But this is the way that I'm going to choose, and I'm going to, remember, dark is death. We don't want the dark one. We're going to score, and like I said, figure out which direction you want it to go, and we're going to score every inch. every inch and make sure your scores are good i typically go back and forth because this is not designer series paper this is card stock so you're going to want to make sure that you get good scores and you want to go from one end to the other one end to the other last one all right so now we're gonna flip it a quarter of a turn that's what i meant in the instructions a quarter of a turn and then we're gonna score it at one and a half and six and a half Basically, one and a half on each end. One and a half and six and a half. All right. Now, here's where things get exciting. Okay. We're going to take our scissors. I'm going to put that score part down so you guys can see. I'm going to take my scissors. And this first one, you guys, we're going to chop this off. Don't need it. And then we're going to cut on all the scores from the bottom up to that first score part. Now, apparently I didn't press hard enough. I'm having a hard time seeing my scores. So all I'm doing is putting my fingernail where the score is and I'm just kind of bending it to help me see my score mark. Don't you love tips? I love little tips like that. Last one. Okay, so now we have, this is going to eventually be our bottom, but I want to take this tuck-in piece, okay, because that's what's going to happen here, is I want to, and I want to do an angle cut like that. Same side as the one that I cut off, because what we're going to do next is we're going to fold our top just like that, and we're going to burnish all of our score marks, each inch. And I like doing it with the fold, with the fold already done because it saves me a step. 
and then just keep going all the way down. The first thing that I thought of you guys when I saw the um, when I when I was thinking of doing this cup, my son loves mojitos. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, that would be so cute with, um, with, a, um, I think I'm going to make this one and I'm going to put a little leaf in here with a straw. Okay, so now what we're going to do, see this little fold over and this one, the one that still has the tab is the top. So we're going to tuck that in and it's going to fit just like that. And look at that. There's our cup. What do you guys think? Cute? All right. So now we need to do some glue. And I want to glue this flap down, the one that we did a little cut out of. And then I want to do glue here, but not on the flap because that will be glued separate. So this side, we're gonna glue this down over here, the one that has the wedge out. I don't wanna glue this one just yet because I wanna tuck it in just like that. And that is going to be what secures our cup. Make sure that the lines line up. And then if you want to make sure that it goes flat, then just fold that over. See how I've got that folded? That way then you can make sure that your glue is secure. Just like that. And then you'll have to um, just reposition your cup a little bit. Just like that. So, the hard part's over. Well, mostly. These pieces are going to fold down. There's two ways that you could do this. The way that I did it is I put a two inch circle punch on the bottom of this one and see the two inch circle just fits all the way around. But I did glue the tabs first, you guys. So I'm going to start with our with one piece and I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle just like this. And then we're going to start to create No. Nope, I'm going to start to create our cup. And then we're going to go Come on. Glue each little piece and just turn it around. Now, I'm using glue intentionally, you guys. Why am I using glue? Why am I using glue? Tell me in the comment section. Why am I using glue? I know that you know the answer. I'm using glue because it gives me a little bit of time to make sure that my shape is correct. So I'm gonna hold that down for a second and then I'm gonna take my two inch circle in the lemon lime twist and I wanna make sure, obviously not too much, but I wanna make sure to get it on the edges. Just like that. And then this can cover up our kind of sloppy bottom. I like a clean bottom, you guys. And then I'm gonna take my glue, because it's long enough, you guys, and I'm gonna hold, hold my glue down, because that's gonna help secure my cup. Oh, but we're not done yet. There's always more. 
and make sure that my this one edge just does not want to secure. Make sure it goes all the way around. And just like that, you guys, there's our cup. However, a cocktail would not be a cocktail if it wasn't garnished, right? We need to garnish. So I have two granny apple green pieces, and I'm going to take this lemon lime twist piece, and I'm going to bring back in my scrap piece, and I want a a face of a wedge. So we're going to take our granny apple green and I only want the wedge right there. Move my cup. And I'm going to stamp my wedge like that and then I'm going to bring in the lemon lime twist and I want the wedge part in the lemon lime twist like that And there's that. What do you guys think? We're not done yet. So I'm going to cut this piece off. And this is where the hybrid embossing folder comes in, you guys. So I'm going to take my embossing folder and my dies. I'm going to bring in my die cut here. And I'm going to lock my die cut in place just like that. And then I'm going to align my lime just like that. Can you guys see that even the granny apple green fits right into that wedge? And I'm going to run this through the cut and emboss. And what's going to happen is you're going to get this. Oh my gosh, so cute. Now, I don't want to forget to do my Winka Stella. Now, why do we have all of these pieces? Well, I thought it would be fun to actually make a lime wedge what I'm talking about is we're going to take glue along the edge here and we're going to build this up without making a huge mess And another little strip of glue. Super skinny, you guys. That's all that you need is just that little itty bitty bit. But it needs to go all the way to the end, of course. There we go. And we're going to take our other granny apple green piece. I'm going to line that. Oh, you know what, you guys? We shouldn't do that. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we're going to take that one off. Hang on. Let's cut this one. And we'll do lemon. We'll do the the die cuts on the each side. Ooh. I didn't think of that. You guys see how things evolve? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Good 
thing I had my cut emboss right here. Okay. So we're going to do that one on that side, and then we'll do this one on this side. I'm going to go back in here with glue. And I want the colored side there. Just like that. And then we're going to do mini dimensionals to kind of fan it out a little bit. Do -de do Make sure it lines up. Because I want it to look 3D. See? Just a little. Same, same on the other piece. There we go. So I put two here and I only put one there. But see how you get that like wedgy look? And then, and you don't, you guys, you don't even have to take those little backers off. It's more for, um, actually this one, I don't like that. That one's a little too low. So all I'm doing is taking my pokey part of my take your pick tool and pulling that one off because that one was a little bit too low. I'm gonna put it right there. That's better. See, now it's not like super duper pudgy. Then we're gonna take our scissors And we're going to put a little cut in there. I'm going to guess that's like three-eighths of an inch. And our Wink Stella. I think my Wink is, I think my Wink is done. Almost. Okay. Make it look like a wet lime oh that would be why you don't try to juice up your wink of stella on your project because it gets a little crazy okay and then our little lime here Actually, we're going to have to do a little wedge out here. Just a little. And our line can sit right on top of our little cup. How cute is that? All right, you guys. Are we done, do you think? Do we need something else? I did bring in some of that glitter stuff. I'm thinking we need a sentiment on here. I really am. And I think I like that thanks a bunch on here. Do, do, do. And we can punch a little hole in here. Oh, I wish I wish I had a straw because a straw in here and having that hanging from the straw. Hang on, you guys. I just thought of this. Hang on. Guess what I found? The 
perfect straw. It's even green. And then we can take our little glittery ribbon. You guys, things evolve. Don't be afraid to let things evolve. Put this on here. I'm going to cut this. Put that back here, like that. And then I think oh, yeah, I, that was not planned, you guys. That one happened to be the size that I needed. And I love it when that happens. Sorry, you guys. Do, do, do. Don't you love it? So we're going to Okay, first off, I want a little bit of a edge on here, you guys. So I'm gonna I'm tucking it in to kind of curve my edge just like that. Oh too bad it wasn't in the middle. Thanks a bunch. I need my eight, eight inch circle punch. And then the last thing, where's my circle punch? No idea where my circle punch is. That's okay. We'll just poke a hole. Hang on, one more place to look. It'd be so much cleaner. So much cleaner with the circle punch. And then we'll put our string through here. Now what color would you like to see this in, you guys? What color would you like to see this in? So many possibilities. There we go. So here's what it looks like. Our thanks a bunch with our cup. We'll put our treats in here. Actually, we could put the that that way. There we go. And that's what it looks like. So here's our adult lemonade it could be let's see what else could it be a mojito it could be um this would be a nice size margarita i'm just saying um what else could it be you guys what could this cup be could be just a regular lemonade too doesn't have to be an adult one just saying There we go. Fixing my bow. My bow didn't want to stay. There we go. And that's today's project, you guys. Our little thanks a bunch. It would be super cute to put, you know, a slice of this slice right here would be super cute right there. Um, so many other possibilities. So tell me, what color would you like to see this in? Number one. Number two... Do you want to see how we did this, how I did this one? Our little cappuccino cup. Tell me in the comments section, you guys. And 
If this video inspired you, please share it so that others can be inspired too. I hope that you have an amazing day getting crafty, you guys. Hit that like button so that, uh, so that YouTube knows that we like videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day getting crafty, guys. Bye-bye.